Hello guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Um, this is a tutorial to show us how we can integrate Stripe card payment in an Angular Laravel single page application. So for the purpose of this course, we will be working with Angular 9 and Laravel 7. So, um, and in a nutshell, um, this is what we're going to be doing like um, just a, a schematic of uh, representation of what we will be doing. Um, this is what it involves. Um, in order for this to work, we have our client, which is our Angular application there. Uh, we have the backend, which is the Laravel um, application running here. So um, first thing is we send a request to our server and then the server sends um, a request to stripe to create a payment intent now if you have been used to um, integrating stripe to your applications um, before september 2019 um, it was done differently but as from september 2019 this is how it's been it's now been done like things have changed the procedures have changed and you first need to have a payment intent before you can complete a payment transaction so that is why the first step is to send that initial request to your server and your server then communicates with stripe to um get a payment intent which is returned as an object and in that object you have your intent id and you also have your client secret and some other parameters as well now that is sent back to your client and then you can enter um the further details you know to complete the transaction such as the amount um the email of the person making the transaction and, and a few other things as well so you enter those in that then gets sent to the stripe um, server and the payment is completed obviously you put in your card details at this stage as well um, and then it's returned to your client and then the client can then send um, details of the payment to your server and then you can store that transaction in your database so this is just a summary of what we will be doing in this case and just to show you what our simple application is going to look like this is what we're going to be building so this is a home page um, you want to make a payment you click on that and then that brings up the form to collect the payment and using our test data um, stripe test data we can input um, our card details um, say 03 22 1 2 3 and post code say b 251 bs and click pay and your payment was successful okay now you can see if you look here what we've consoled um, log that's the intent um let's start not opening up oh right okay i think it wants this to go away first so um open up the intent that's the intent you have scroll and see what we've got here so these are the um details we've got from the intent um you can look at them and that's the intent id very important and you also have your client secret that one very very important as well and then when the transaction is complete you have um let's see what we've got here right okay um maybe not that one let's see I think that one has more details right so the payment intent changes and you can see the status of the transaction says it's succeeded so 
that tells you that you've got a successful transaction. And then obviously you can implement other things, you know, um, if there are other things you want to happen, you know, when the payment is complete, you can include all of those, you know, but the essence of this tutorial is just to show how we can integrate Stripe and then um, make a successful payment, basically. So um, right here, I have created a new um, Angular application and that's now running. So the first thing that we will be looking at in this case, because um, I would want to use a little bit of Angular material, obviously for the buttons here. So um, if we go on to the Angular material website, so getting started, we need to install that. So if you copy that and we come back to the application, um, close the server for now and paste the command to add Angular material. And if we go back again, so what we need to use within the components is the button. So we'll find that down here, button, yeah. And um, let's see which one, which one. So what example says, okay, maybe that one. And so we'll copy the code for that. Okay, and I can quickly get that from a previous application I have built. Oh, and in the meantime, I can see we have, right, so Angular Material is asking for a few things indigo pink here choose that team set up angular material just say yes to this um browser animation just say yes and that should complete the installation of angular material okay so while that is ongoing i would also want to um see from what I have um, right so from a previous um, project um, I could easily get the button I have used in this case so on the home page on the app page here. I've got the styling. Um, so if we go on to app and then app component, we've got this. And if you, let's run this first and see what this looks like. Or rather, I could easily, um, yeah, let's run it. Let's see what it looks like. So if we say ng save, so we could get that running to see what that would look like. And while that is on, going. Let's see what we could do. Um, we would also need to create um, a module and component for home, um, module and component for payment as well. And yeah, I think those are the very important um, modules and 
page or, or components and components we need to create in this case so um still waiting for this to basically finish compiling so we can run to see what our fresh application looks like and i think we'll um we'll continue when this is 